In 2004, the One Campaign was birthed out of an idea that people would come from all different walks of life, all different kinds of religions, all different kinds of backgrounds, and work together with one voice to deal with issues like AIDS, poverty, uh, debt relief, and particularly caring for children who are the most vulnerable people on the planet. The One Campaign is one of the most unique movements that's ever happened in the U.S. to raise awareness around the country of what's going on, not only in Africa, but around the world. The One Campaign is a historic effort to end poverty as we know it. With Africa being so far away, many people here in America who've never been there cannot imagine how really extreme the poverty issue is. Half of the world lives on less than $2 a day. They don't know that one billion people live on less than $1 a day. With no government assistance, no economic hierarchy or infrastructure to rely upon. We think that poverty means that uh, you don't have a Nintendo PlayStation, you don't have cable in every room, but we don't understand that poverty in, in developing nations means that this child doesn't have clean drinking water. This child doesn't have an opportunity to be educated. There are 13 million kids in Africa that are presently orphaned because of this AIDS crisis. We can step in, we can make a difference, we must make a difference. Actually, treatment for AIDS, it's called the Lazarus Effect because it actually brings these people who look like they're about ready to die back from the dead. And it costs like a buck a day. Over one and a half million people are alive today because of AIDS drugs that were supplied by the generosity of Americans. We can talk about mosquito nets that only cost $5 that save a child from a lifetime of malaria if they survive the, the infection. For $20 a person, we can make a difference in the life of someone in Africa so that they can have access to clean water and lead a healthy, basic life. For very little money, we can do so much. When you're given that great an opportunity by God to do so much good, we really can't afford to step back from that. The reason why I want to be involved in Africa is because I'm motivated by the strength of character that I've seen down there. The only way to serve God on Earth is by serving other people. Christ was the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, you know, and He came down with a specific purpose, and that's to serve. And if we're called to be imitators of Christ, then that's what we're called to do. What did He do? He went around and He served. Recognizing the person, not just across the street, but also across the world as our neighbor, this is just a, a huge part, in my mind, of Christian discipleship. Where we live should not dictate whether we live. From Genesis 1, the story of creation all the way through Matthew 25 when Jesus is preparing to return to the Father. I think we have a very clear call to take care of our sisters and brothers who are in need. James, it says, faith without works is dead. We've got to see that we've got to do something about this. And that has to seep through everything that we are. It's not just a um, something I do on a Sunday or Wednesday night Bible study. If the church doesn't help with the crisis in Africa, who will? That's a very penetrating question. We believe that as people of faith that we should let our elected leaders and the people who are running for election know what's important to us. This isn't about sides. This isn't about the right or the left or even in between. What it's about is raising one voice. We want to signal to both parties and the leadership of both uh, Congress and the Senate is that this agenda is something that must be addressed by all Americans. To not only promise it, but to also fund it. Starving children, children dealing with uh, diseases that would be so easy to cure. I don't think anybody wants to let that slip off the agenda. If you're watching this uh, and you're wondering, what could my church do? What could my congregation do? Well, one of the things you can do is be a part of one Sabbath. We'll be talking about what's going on in Africa from the pulpit, in Sunday school classes, in youth groups. To really declare, listen, this is what is not only on God's heart, but this is what's on our heart. One Sabbath uh, provides a, a wonderful opportunity for young people to, to understand who they are in this new global society. It's also an opportunity for you to learn how your own actions can make a difference for people around the globe. It's about infecting one person with a positive message at a time. You know, everyone thinks of being able to make a difference and think for something. It has to be this big, massive thing, and it doesn't. You can do this with a phone call, with a conversation, writing a letter, sending an email. Go to a town hall meeting and make your voice known. You stand up and ask, ask important questions about what the candidate plans to do to fight 
extreme poverty and global disease. My small voice can do such a big thing to put an end to suffering in the world. If you have any sort of heart at all, then you want to take some sort of action. Signing up for the One Campaign could not be easier. You go to one.org and sign up, and that's it. You're part of us. We can do something about what people have seen as being impossible. We know that we have the ability to reduce hunger and poverty and disease in the world. Do we have the will? The One Campaign is our answer. We do have the will, and we know the way.